In the video for today, I'm going to show you three simple ways to find your lost Android device in 2025. Losing your phone is actually a big deal, be it an Android device or an Apple device, it is a big deal because these days we rely on our smartphones for almost everything from shopping to banking and, you know, storing our old photos and videos and whatnot. So if your phone is misplaced, you're going to lose access to a lot of things. So what I would always suggest is... I know it's a big deal. I know it's hard on you to digest the fact that you just had your phone this morning and this afternoon you lost it or misplaced it somewhere in your house. The first thing what you need to do is file in a missing complaint or in India, we call it an FIR, First Information Report. So you should go ahead to the local police station and file in a missing complaint. Keep a copy of that with you so that in the future, if somebody tries to misuse your phone after it was lost, you are not pulled up for it. Now, having said that, let me explain to you three simple methods through which you could try and get back your phone. The first method, obviously, we all know about, which is uh, using Google Find Hub. You could just get onto any laptop or PC or any other device. Open the browser and just do a search for Find Hub. This is a fantastic application that helps you to track lost or stolen devices. Android, of course. Uh, so you could just click on the first link suggested by Google, log in with the same email address that was on the lost or stolen Android device. And then after you log in, click on devices, select the device that you're trying to track. And within a few seconds or a couple of minutes, Find Hub is going to track your phone to a specific location. If it gives you a location well and good, it is still out there, maybe in that specific spot on Google Maps. But if it is, uh, you know, not giving you a location, it means it is offline. So in order for your phone to be shown on Google Find Hub, specifically on Maps, it has to be online. Obviously, if any person is trying to rob your phone, they're going to do their best to switch off your phone. So maybe if your phone is off, it's not going to show up out here. But most of the time, what happens is that you are going to see a location for your phone. Maybe that is the current location for your phone. So you could just rush to the location and you know get your phone back. But if you do not get your phone out there, it means that was the last location. Say, supposing you have misplaced your phone, you know it's in your room, but you're not able to find it. You could click on this option to play sound. Even if your phone is in silent mode, silent mode, my friend, you play sound and your phone is going to ring. You can, you know, set up a pin for your device. You could lock your device with a pin. You click on this option, you get a pop up, click on secure device, and then your device is locked. If you think that your phone is like gone, you're not going to get it back. You've given up hopes. You could go ahead and do a factory reset. If your phone is online, if this is, uh, you know, set up out here by you, if you click on next, Whenever your phone comes online, it is going to go into a reset mode. So whatever data is synced to your Google account is going to be deleted off that phone. At least if you're not getting your phone back, you know, you know that your data is not going to be misused. The second method to try and find your phone when it is misplaced, lost or stolen, is uh, by using your home smart speaker. So if you have a Google Home Hub, for instance, you could say something like, OK, Google, find my phone. It is going to confirm the device that you're trying to track. And once you do so, it is going to make your phone ring or, you know, make it make a sound or something like that. The third method to try and track or get back your lost phone is by using a Bluetooth tracker. These days we get these uh, trackers that you could attach to a keychain or you could keep it in your wallet or you could also get a tracker for your phone and stuff like that. The good part about a Bluetooth tracker is that if it is synced properly with your phone, if you're even moving away from your phone, like at a specific distance, it is going to beep an alarm or it is going to make sound. So you know that you're moving away from your phone. So these are the three genuine methods to try and get back your phone once you misplace it. If you get back your phone, well and good. If you do not, I suggest you keep trying with Find Hub or you could uh, you know, get back to the police station and try and work it out with them. It's actually a very difficult task to track a phone after it is misplaced and you know it is formatted and stuff like that right but never give up hope at least give it a try that's what i would say i mean i have misplaced two of my phones in the past and it was a big deal for me because at that point of time i was broke and uh, i'm being honest okay and uh, you know i didn't have any money to buy a new phone and i really needed the phone so if you like my video give it a thumbs up take care my friend